When you're doing your budgeting for groceries every week, you might not realize how much you're actually spending on dishwasher tabs. Something like this guy, depending on the brand you get, can cost upwards to a dollar, where something like this can cost a fraction of a cent. Good. So let's make these for a fraction of the cost. One. One. Now, you may think that dishwashers have no place on a homestead, and you might be right. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to wash your dishes by hand. However, I am exceedingly lazy, so dishwasher it is. And since we're trying to cut costs instead of buying dishwasher detergent or tablets, Nicole found a way to make her own. Oh, and have you ever seen inside your dishwasher what it does? I threw the GoPro in so that we could have a behind the scenes look at what goes on inside of your dishwasher. We used to use these and um, I'm trying to cut costs. So I decided that we're not gonna use these anymore. And that I was going to do these. So, um, what are those? Homemade dishwasher tabs. These are homemade dishwasher tabs, no muffins. Those are. The ingredients that we use are fairly simple ingredients. They're cheap. Um, you, we get the big box of baking soda, which is six dollars um, at our grocery store anyways. I have salt here that I got from Walmart. It is 77 cents. For, I didn't keep the bag, so I don't know how much is in it. Oh, this is a bag. It's big. So however much salt that is, 77 cents. And then I got just any old dish soap on sale for $1.49. So these become very inexpensive way to still run your dishwasher. And we're going to start off with one cup of baking soda. One cup of baking soda goes into our mixing bowl. And then the rest of our ingredients get weighed out in ounces. So the first one we're going to do weighted ounce because it's not fluid. So we need two ounces of our salt. Oops. <laughs> I did bad. I did so bad. Do you want me to do that again? Okay. Now we just look dumb. See if I can even do this right. Seven, eight, nine, one fluid ounce. And we take that and what do you think, buddy? You're doing a good job. you can replace the dish soap here with Castile soap if you wanted it to be a more natural soap but today we're focusing on saving on groceries so Castile soap is not a cheap option so we're gonna use dish soap. I should have just put this on there and did it in there so I didn't get any stuck in the bowl. Oh well. And you take it 
and you mix it up. And the mixture will start to look sandy. And at this point, you kind of have to get in there with your hands to see if it clumps together the way that it should. So you want the mixture to kind of look sandy like this, um, but you can see when it when I push it together here, it clumps, but it doesn't like stick together very well yet. So what we're gonna do is spritz it with just a little bit of water until when you squeeze the mixture, it actually can pack together because we're making them into tabs. If you don't want to make them into tabs, you can skip this step, put it into a mason jar and add one tablespoon. Um, of the detergent into your dishwasher load, but we're making tabs, so. You don't want to use too much water, so just a little bit at a time until you get the right consistency. using a um, an ice cube mold and this one has little silicone bits at the bottom that you can push up. It just makes it easier to push the tabs out. But you can use whatever. <laughs> I don't know if I made this too wet. <laughs> but maybe not. We'll see. What happens if you make it too wet? It'll just have a hard time drying in the things. You just have to wait longer. Yeah. But it'll still work regardless, you're just making it harder for yourself. And we, we do always say, do as we say, not as we do, so I'll do it bad so that you don't have to do it bad. But you just take some mixture and squish it into the tabs. <laughs> yeah, I think I added too much water after I said not to add too much water. Down. The last time I made these, I didn't pack all of them down enough, so they kind of crumbled out. But second to soak in the ingredients. It's good. It's okay. Well, buddy, we're doing something right now. Six dishwasher loads and you created dishwasher tabs for a couple of pennies. 
What do you have to do now? Oh. You gotta let these dry and not get impatient and pop them out or else they'll crack. So if you have a wood stove, um, just set them by the wood stove and they will dry out in five to seven days. Uh, if not, well, you're just gonna have to check them. It really depends on the dryness of your home, but we're just going to set these aside to dry and in about a week's time, they will be ready to use. And once you, once you pop them out, they look something like this. And um, you just pop it in the dishwasher and same as a regular tab. There you go, homemade dishwasher tab.